guys. Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? Um, I should say this evening. It's, I don't know what time it is. It's about a little after six. Um, and I definitely, um, I'm, I'm really tired tonight. Last night wasn't a good night. Not much sleep. But I want to play with this My Creative Year. And we're going to talk about this week's prompt, which you guys have already seen, Gina's and Anne's. And I want to show you mine. Now, the topic this week is um, old and new, and uh, last week it was selfie, and this one is combine. So, now last week I didn't do a, a selfie per se. I mean, I did this page here, and then I did the front, which was all cool, okay? But this is a combine, so I think what I'm going to do this week, I'm going to set this aside. All right, I've already gotten out this piece of paper that I want to use. This side has a clear gesso on it, which is fine. This side has nothing. Um, and then I have this picture. I was just monkeying around with the filters on the phone the other day. And I have this. And then this I found in, um, uh, actually, it was I found it in an old envelope. And this is back in 2014, a class I was taking, Radiant Faces. This is called The Watcher. Um, and what I did is I started doing a... A paint over of my face and I thought you know I want to use this again so what are we going to do we're going to combine the old Cindy which is this person um, when I say this person this person doesn't have purple hair this person wears contacts I now wear glasses full-time this person was working full-time um, this person is now on disability um, this person now wears uh, glasses long story short I would have went blind if I kept wearing my contacts so that had to go and you know of course my hair is whatever color I, I feel like putting it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two and what I really would like to do and and this is gonna sound crazy but I want to put the new onto the old and and we're gonna work it in here so let's figure that out but before we get going with that I need to do a background we've got blue right yeah, no, blue is not going to cut it. Um, now, I just purchased these. I have not used the oxides before, and I just want to play. So, um, I just picked these up today, and I picked myself up some of these little guys because I wanted some daubers. My daubers are all shot. I figured it was time to spend the five bucks and get some new ones, right? So I'm just going to cut this open so I can get out a new dauber or two or three. Yeah, I just want this plastic out of the way. All right. I just want a couple of these and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play with some of this ink because I want to see how it goes down I want to see what it looks like um, doo -doo. let's see I just want to see I want to see I want to see I want to see what these look like so let's start out with this this one is faded jeans and that just looked like one that I knew I would use quite a bit if I can get it open doesn't that look cool? Faded jeans. Let's see what happens. I just want to see. First I want to see how it... That's really weird. Okay, I'm not sure. Maybe. Yeah, it likes it. That sound you hear is because I have that clear gesso on here. So, like I said, I just I want to play with these and see what you know all the fuss is about. Um, I only bought the three because I want to see what you know if it's something I want other than my normal um, distress inks because I like my normal distress inks. So we're just gonna. And I can hear everybody saying, you're not supposed to use that as a blender. Yeah, I know. That's all right. It's, 
it's what I'm using right now because it's what I got and that's that is the way it shall be. All right. Hmm. Kind of like that. It's almost just a just a hint of color. I like it. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I like it. All right, so there's that one. That's the faded jeans. Now let's go to the vintage photo, which, like I said, I'm ah, killing two birds with one stone here. Come on. Okay. I can tell you right now, anybody that has hard fingers, has a hard time getting their fingers to work. That's not fun. All right, so let's just see what we got on here. We're making it look antiquey, huh? Okay, this one has definitely got. I love it. I love that look. Very cool. Very cool. So I like that. And I am, just for the heck of it, going to put down some yellow just because I want to see what it looks like. Um, this one is called Fossilized Amber. Oops. That one came off easier. I'm just going to use this little thingy here. And just for the heck of it, we're going to put down some. Yep. All right, very interesting. I'm de definitely going to be doing some more playing with these and seeing how they blend. And, you know, we're killing two birds here with one stone. So, um, all right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to figure out how I'm going to lay these down. Now, I know this is going to go somehow over top of her because that's the old and the new, and we're going to combine them together. So let's get out some scissors. This is, like I said, just an old piece of a journal that I had cut out. You can see collage done in the background, then I gessoed it. And apparently I, I don't know, I don't sure I like the way she was done or, notice I'm saying she. I don't like the way I was done, I guess. <laughs> so I wanna figure out. Thinking about. <laughs> thinking out loud here, guys. I'm just thinking about maybe putting a door here. And knowing that this is the old me and this is the new, which will be on this door. Alright, so I'm just I'm doing this to give you guys an idea of what my brain thinks of when I'm doing this stuff. Too much crap here on my desk. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to get out some paints. Let's get out some paints. I need to do some stuff with these doors here. I am going to leave them rough like that. Why not? I can. No worries, right? So let me get some paints and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So I decided not to get out paints. I don't know why. I wasn't in the mood. So I got my Neo colors out. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, I did put a little bit of that ink and stuff down there. But you know what? I want some other different colors. Kind of bring that brightness of that blue back out again. Now these are um, these big fat crayons that I'm using. They're not really crayons. They're called um, Stabilo Woodies. Um, they're made by Stabilo, S-T-A-B-I-L-O, and it's called a Woody. And basically what it is, is it's a water-soluble um, crayon, pretty much. Only a lot bigger and a lot cooler and a lot more fun. So, I'll show you once I activate them how cool they are. Maybe a little bit more up here. I gotta find my sharpener. You're like, what? Yeah, I do. They do come with a sharpener. See? It makes it 
So you can sharpen these bad boys. See? All right. So now I'm just going to take a watercolor brush or a water brush. And we're just going to activate that color. Now remember, I've got clear gesso on this, so it's not going to go um, through. This is just a piece of scrap pattern scrapbook paper, which is fine. I'm not really looking for, I just want some different color on here. Um, and then maybe we're going to put some texture on. We're just going to play. So anyways, as you guys know, I've been doing the My Creative Year um, focusing on, on chronic pain, right? Well, this prompt is, you know, a lot like the other ones in the sense that um, when you go from a, aka what I call a normal lifestyle, which is, you know, you get up in the morning and you take a shower and you throw the coffee on and get your butt in your vehicle and head to work and do your thing all day and come home and make dinner and sweep and mop the floors and you know make sure your kids are all together and everything's good for school and you know live a normal life that's that's just a normal life okay um, when you go from that type of a normal life into a chronic pain um, it's very very difficult it's not only difficult physically but it's also difficult mentally and you have to learn how to be that new you um, especially in a case where you've got it you've had an accident and basically that's what happened to me I had an accident um, I picked up something I shouldn't have picked up which I didn't realize at the time and then um, you know I ended up with this permanent injury and a very painful permanent injury let me dry this up I'll be right back all right before I dry it up I decided I'm gonna put this darker blue on the outside see how those colors just pop these woodies are really, really cool. Like I said, it's basically just a big crayon. But I love the way the colors pop. They've got great pigmentation in them. So yeah, we were talking about, you know, going from a quote unquote normal person to a person living with chronic pain and it's a journey. It's a very difficult journey. And you know, I've had people, um, some people say to me that I'm very brave to share my story. And here's my thought on that. I am sharing my story with you because there was nobody to share their story with me when it happened to me. And I didn't know if what I was feeling, what I was thinking, what, um, you know, was hurting and what wasn't hurting. and. You know, I didn't know if it was all normal. Does that make sense? Um, there wasn't anybody around to tell me, hey, you know, it's going to get easier. You know, this is what happens. Yeah, you're going to be mad. You're going to be angry. You're going to be hurt. You're going to be, you know, sad. You're going to be all these things. And nobody was around to tell me those things. So that's why I'm doing this. All right. So, um... Like I said, it's 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 a difficult journey to go from one to the other type of a life. Um, you almost have to learn how to live all over again because, um, you know, for example, myself, prior to this, I would call up my girlfriend on a, you know, Thursday afternoon and say, hey, you want to go out and meet for dinner tonight? Let's meet over yada yada and let's go shop and let's do this. You can't do that anymore. You have to really think about um, what your body is is or is not going to like about what plans you make. Let me dry this up.
after a little break, what I did, um, here's the two pieces that I'm going to make into doors. Um, but I've got this. A dear, dear friend of mine, um, Peg Robinson, um, sent me a cute little happy mail the other day. And this card was in it. And I really like the sentiment on it. It says, wherever you go, there you are. And boy, that's so true. Um, and when it comes to chronic pain, that's something that at times it's hard to remember. Is, you know, it's okay to be you. It's okay to be with that pain. And it's, I mean, it's okay. So I want to put this on there. So I just want to take the ends off that. Now, I've been sitting here looking at this thinking, how am I going to do this? And I could do a couple things. And I think I'm going to use washi tape as hinges. So I have to grab my glue, which I have right here. Um, and we're going to make this work. We're just going to make this work. So let's do it. Uh, I got... <laughs> this is awful. I have a bad addiction. It's called washi tape. <laughs> This is my extra that won't fit in my great big drawers over there. So, yeah. So I'm trying to use my <laughs> extra washi first. Yeah, I like washi tape. It's so cool. So let's take... Let's take some of this washi. I thought that was the end. It's not. This is. And it's going to split on me. So let's do this first. Rid of that little piece. All right, there. Stick there. All right. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna try to make this little doors. Now, um, I have to be aware because I have the holes. And this is, uh, you know, you guys have watched me enough to know that I normally don't create in a, like a binder type style. And I'm learning how to do this. And let me tell you, it's, it can be challenging because you have to really look at um, where your holes are. You know, I could just go through and, you know, repoke the holes, but I don't know if I want to do that. So we're just going to do this for right now. Make sure it's down good there. I don't want to have such big scissors out. They just happen to be the ones laying here. All right, and then on this side, it still says what that was, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. But first, let's put this hinge on. It's going to make a cute little door. And even though it's got... I don't mind. I'm excited. This is fun. I just love to play, and this is all just play for me. Um, you know, I don't have to worry about my art generating an income. Um, I don't have to worry about... You know who likes it and who doesn't it doesn't matter to me because I just enjoy what I'm doing so I'm gonna I can see I got it on cockeyed see how cockeyed it is that's oh, okay it's all good now let's take this and just because I'm not quite sure where my bone folder is actually it's right here I just want to make sure I put this down so that it's down as well as I can get it. All right. So anyways, talking about... Now I'm going to have to cut. You know, talking about, um, you know, the chronic pain and being with it and being who you are. That's that's why I'm, I'm trying to connect the two. See, it didn't stick down. So what we do now is we just add a little bit of tacky glue i found this the other day in walmart walmart was it walmart can't remember where i got it um no joann's michael's i think it was michael's and i found this this tacky glue that you know i've seen other people use it i've just never seen it anywhere that actually stands upright like this in a container and what i'm wondering is if this top will fit my other bottles when when that gets empty. We're going to have to find out. So anyways, um, as I was saying, doesn't stick, so we're going to put tacky glue there. You know, I wish they would make washi tape that actually um, stuck like tape, you know, like regular tape. Alright, so here's our doors. 
Now I want to do something on the inside, but I want a different color. So let's see what we've got. We've got owls. Let's do this funky green. Let me tell you, we have been unpacking boxes and unpacking boxes <laughs> and unpacking boxes until if I don't see another box, I'll be really happy. I got up this morning and my husband was unpacking the ones that were left over in the living room. And this was prior to coffee. And I said to him, really? <laughs> Can I at least have my coffee first? He's like, you don't have to do anything. Just sit down. Yeah, right. Okay. But anyways, we they're all unpacked. The boxes are all unpacked. There's still a bunch of stuff that has to be put away, but we'll get to it. Um, I told them, sorry, I have videos to do first, you know, important things. And eventually I will give you guys a tour of my art room. Right now it's still kind of a mess. It's not quite where I want it yet. Um, I still have some stuff on tables and you know, stuff that needs to be, none of my decorations are up and that kind of stuff. So anyways, we'll get to it. Stop. Go. All right. Let's put this one right here. Notice I got smart and put down glue first this time. Yeah, because you know it's not going to stick, so. So anyways, talking about um, chronic pain, I, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of giving you guys just too much info about chronic pain. Maybe it's not too much. Maybe it's enough. I don't know. But bear with me. Um, you know, if you don't want to hear anything about the chronic pain, just shut the voice off and fast forward me. It's all good. I'm good with it. All right. So here's my doors. I got my doors on. Not cool. And I'll say worse, just little scraps of paper. So it's all good. This one I'm, I hope stays down. Let's hope it does because I didn't glue that one. These I glued. All right. So what we're talking about is combining, right? So here's the old me and here's the new me. So we need to combine these. So how are we going to do it? The first thing I'm going to do is cut off all this extra white. I might make it smaller too. Cut off my double chin, my chubby cheeks. How's that? It looks funny because I started painting, so it looks really funny. Just trying to decide how I want to do this. Do I want to Or do I want to do this? I'm thinking what I may do is I may hook myself to one side or the other. I think I'm going to hook myself to that side maybe. So I can be the old me. Actually, let's do it the other way around. Let's do it this side. Here's the old me. Here's the new me. This is funny. I was just playing around with an app on my phone. I have this crown on and lipstick. Yeah, I don't wear lipstick. All right, so that's what it's going to be. We're going to be old and new. So let's take this and let's get some color on it because um, I don't want it to be just icky white. So again, I'm taking the Woody, the Woody Stabilo, the Stabilo, Stabilo, Stabalo, however you want to say it, Woody's. And I'm just putting down some color. These are great. I just love these things. It's funny because I knew I had them, but somehow I had kind of like lost them. <laughs> okay, let me let me say that differently. I put them away somewhere <laughs> in a very safe place, and I didn't know where that safe place went. How's that? Does that sound better? So I'm just going to activate this color. 
just with a little bit of water. I could do it with um, my water brush like I did earlier, but I just happen to have this paintbrush handy. And we're just going to throw it. And let's make this pretty. Just kind of make some color on there. I don't want it to be um, just plain Jane, right? We're not just plain Janes. So yeah, the journey um, to go from old to new or from, you know, um, uninjured to injured is definitely um, a soul-searching journey. It's something that you really, um, it takes a lot to figure out and it takes a lot to understand um, that it's okay. You know, your life is not over. Uh, your life is okay. You can survive this. Um, it's all right. It's okay to hurt. It's okay to cry. Um, you know, you name it. It's okay. We can do this. Let me dry this up. I'll be right back. All right. So I got looking at this and yeah, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't keep this the way it is. So what I'm going to do, these again are the woodies. These are the um, Stabilo woodies that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to put a little bit of color here and there. Maybe get rid of some of this um, just, I don't know, bland color. I just don't like the color. So we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to throw some blue in there. Some darker blue. And we're just going to make this... A uh, happier, a happier Cindy. Even though this is the old me, we're making it a happier me. How's that? Actually, you know what? I shouldn't have done that, huh? That's all right. We're gonna do it. It's all good. So this is the old me with lots of water on my brush. Just want to put a little bit of color here and there. You know what? And I think I might take that right back off, and I'll show you how we do that. Just want to make it lighter, brighter, I don't know, more me-ish. <clears throat> like I said, I never wear lipstick, but I just want some color here. So these are lips, you know? So we know these are lips. These are my lips. Just to give them that, that little bit. All right. So, I said something about this. Now, I didn't have the blue and purple hair, so we're going to take that off, which is not going to be a problem. I wish you could see my desk right now. My desk is a complete mess. All right, so we're just going to wipe it off. How cool is that? All right, so that I think is just from before when I had done this. So let's just take, because my hair is normally um, a very mousy brown. It's just brown. Actually, now it's getting some what I call glitter in it, which as we all know is gray. Yeah, that's better. So this was, this was me with the mousy brown hair. It's funny, I don't even, you know, people will come up to me, oh my gosh, I love you. I don't even think about it. I just, I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't think anything about it, so. And the brown eyelashes. Apparently, I, like I said, I started painting this. I just don't know what I had done before, but. All right. It just kind of woke me up a little bit, right? I like my little spot there on my Let's cover that back in. There we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to let this dry really good. So we're going to set that aside. And then I've been looking um, at this, and we need some color on my doors. So we're going to go with the pink and purple because that's what's on the back of this. It was funny, when I was drying this, I'm sitting here going like that, and it, it, it was really cool. So let's do, let's get some pink and purple on these doors. Nothing crazy, just 
throw some color down. Same here, throw some color down. Doo -doo. And we'll take some water. I've actually got quite a bit of water there, so go with our pink and our purples. Let's just get it down. Yeah, it's funny. Every now and then I'll talk to, um, you know, some of the people that I used to work with and and just catch up on, you know, none of them, actually, believe it or not, none of them. My entire group, um, the entire department that um, I worked for with the company is completely disbanded. It's all gone. Um, most of the people don't even work for the company anymore. Either they were rift, which is a reduction in force, which I'm sure everybody knows somebody that's had to go through that, or you know they've just left the company. Um, yeah, it's pretty amazing to realize you know how many people are gone, and you know it makes me wonder had the accident not happened, you know would I have been rift? I don't know, probably, but. You know, and, and honestly, you know, would I have taken that over this? Heck yeah. <laughs> the pain I have now is just uh, completely excruciating compared to, you know, living a normal, just daily life. It's, it hurts. There's nothing fun about it. So, all right, so I'm going to let these dry. And actually, I'm going to hit the heat gun to these. I'm going to dry these, dry the face, my face, and then we're going to start putting this together and just having fun with it. So uh, let me do that, and I will be right back. I'm back in a minute. All right, guys, so what I did, after I dried this, I sat here thinking for a minute, and I'm like, you know, I really want to do some journaling. So I actually did some journaling around the outside, and the journaling that I did was about, it's about me, but it's about the old me. And basically, in a nutshell, what it says is, in my old life, I was really busy. I was always on the go, always doing something, um, whether it was working or shopping or it didn't matter. I was always on the go, right? So I was I was away from home a lot more than I was home, let's put it that way. So that's basically what I journaled about is that, you know, I didn't realize, I didn't stop and think about, you know, how my life would change. I, I didn't, I don't know, it wasn't, it's not a thought. It's not something that you put in your brain and say, well, geez, you know, I can't believe you know, I'm enjoying my life, but wow, you know, what happens if something changes? Or, you know, what if something happens? You don't think about that stuff. It's not, it's not in your everyday thoughts, right? So, um, I basically, I journaled about how, you know, I never really stopped and, uh, the old saying, stopped and smelled the roses. I didn't have to. I was too busy doing so much other stuff that I didn't have time to stop. Um, and it's so funny because once you have a debilitating accident, you realize that that's what you got, that's pretty much all you got time to do is stop and smell the roses because you can't go and do and be that same person. I will never be this same person again, ever. Um, I've been told by doctors, not one, not two, well, actually two different doctors, uh, that, you know, it is what it is. This is, this is what you got. This is what you need to live with because it's not going to go away. So it's very difficult to, um, realize that, oh my gosh, you know, it, this is it. This is, this is what I've got. What I have now is what I'm going to live with. So, you know, I think what I'm trying to say is you never know when it's going to be you. You never realize that it can happen to anybody. It could happen to you tomorrow. You could be, um, you know, picking up your, I don't know, luggage from the airport or whatever. 
and all of a sudden, you know, you really mess up your back. And yeah, there's there's surgeries. I've been through a couple of them. Um, did they work the first time I hurt my back? Yes, the surgery worked wonders. It took a good full year for me to um, heal and actually get so that I felt really good. But, you know, I went back to work. Everything was good. Life was good. And then, boom, out of the blue, not even thinking, I lifted that router. And when I lifted that router, my entire life changed in that one split second. And when I talk about, why did that stay down? That didn't stay down. When I talk about, you know, the old me, you, I didn't think. I, if I had a thought, I sure as heck wouldn't have picked up that router. Um, and actually, I, I I didn't physically pick it all the way up. I was bent on my knees, and I tried to lift it to put it back in the box, and it didn't work. So, um, But anyways, the whole point is it could happen to you tomorrow. It could happen to you in a half an hour. It could happen to you in 20 minutes. You just don't know. And i got to do some of that tape. So take the time today to... Um, Enjoy your life. Enjoy it the best you can because you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. Now, just because I messed up and I got extra tape here, what I'm going to do is we're going to put a little washi on it. A little bit of washi just to make some pretties. Why not? So we're just going to put some washi. Let's do this make that a pretty action I'm going to do it the whole way up and try to use up some of that tape that I just got too big which you know that's my mistake I own up to it it's all good so we're just going to we're gonna disguise it as a pretty um, so yeah don't um, Try not to look, you know, your life, look at your life, you know, um, I don't know what exactly I'm trying to say. More like, just remember that your life could change in an instant. I'll do some of that piece of tape right there. So I'm just going to cut it and roll it. Cut it and roll it and fix it and make it my own. All right, that's good. She's fixed. Okay, so here's the old me. And like I said, I'm... Hmm, I'll never be this person again, ever. And that's just kind of scary. And I have brown eyes. So let's give me brown eyes. Not black eyes. Brown eyes. All right, so like I said, I wanted to put this on here. This is gonna go down in here like that. Um, I wanna do some stamping. And I have some other stuff I wanna put on here and then I want this to be on the outside. So let's do that. Let me grab my block. This will work, maybe. Uh, da -da -da. Now, what colors are we going to do out here? I want to do something different. I don't really want to do black. I don't really want to do teal. Red, brown. I guess we're going to end up with blue. So let's see how well this works. This is a cobalt blue. Yeah, see, I'm getting ahead of myself again, but that's okay. It's all good. All right, so I just want to kind of, ta-da. Getting warm. Yeah, I like that. Ta-da. All right, let me dry that real quick.
And then I don't want all of this side on here, so I'm going to take this and just cut off some of that side, just because I didn't want it all on there. And this is me, which is going to go right here on the front. But let's go back to the inside for a minute because we need to finish this up. So when I open this up, there's a few things in here that um, kind of like little sayings that I want to put down. First, I have wherever you go, there you are. That's going to be put down in here. And actually, you know what? No, let's change our mind. No, nope, we're not changing our mind. We're going to put this down in here. And like I said, I've got some little sayings here on tissue paper that's going to go down. I just have to decide now if I want them to go down on the back or the front. We're going to take off some of the edge of this just to make it fit a little bit better. I don't really want to cut off the words. Yeah, that's better. All right, so this is going to go in here. I do want to edge it. I'm just going to edge it with some of this blue. There we go. So let's put this down. This came out of a Flow magazine. Like I said, a dear friend of mine um, sent me some goodies, Miss Peg Robinson. Um, love that lady. And uh, she sent me some goodies, and this was in the goodies. So, and I thought it was perfect for this week's prompt with combining, so. So we're going to put this down right here. All right. You know, it's funny, I talk about this not being me. And, you know, I think I'm wrong in that. It is me, but this is the old me. This is, I can't do and be this person that I was prior. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I really am. So there she is. Now, I want to do some more here. I don't, it's just too bland. So let's take some of this black ink. Let's just give them some early spiral thingies. How's that sound? <laughs> I'm going to do the same to this. Good enough. Alright, so that's good. Now, like I said, I have these. Um, these are on tissue paper and um, again, Peg actually sent these to me, which, you know, thank you so much, Peg. I love them. Um, there's a few different things. This one says, every now and then, life needs to be turned upside down to get back to the right way up. Now, I think this is a Diane Reevely. Um, where's my water brush? I think this is a Diane Reevely stamp. So, it's all good. What I want to do, this is just a little trick for the newbies out there. If you're working with tissue paper and you don't want to see that cut look, just take your water brush, you can do it with a paintbrush, and just that way it'll, it'll tear apart. Very simple. You have to get it pretty wet, but then that way you have those jagged lines, you don't have that uh, straight cut, scissor cut looking line. So I'm going to tear that off, I'm going to tear this off. So I just wet it down and just tear. This is actually really nice tissue paper. I'm not sure, I think, Peg, I'm not sure where she got it. Maybe Dollar Tree? I don't know. It's nice paper though. So I'm just trying to take off the edges so it doesn't look straight and cut because I don't want it that way. I want to take off a little bit more of this. Right about there. And if you get it wet enough, you can just go like this and pull it off. I'm just trying to be a little bit careful because I want to lay it down. So that's one of the first ones. Um, this one here is, is fantastic. It says, I am perfect just the way I am. And that's very true. I want to see if I can do this with my water brush, my paintbrush a little bit quicker. Yep. 
So I am perfect just the way I am. Aren't we all? Can you imagine if we were all the same and we didn't have any, you know, um, any oddities or any quirks or any, you know, if we were all the same, think about how boring life would be. It'd be really boring. It'd be like a bunch of robots. I don't ever want to live like that. Okay, I'm just being really careful next to the words here because I really don't want to rip the words. All right. So here we go. I am perfect just the way I am. And I am. And so are you. That's going to go here. And then this one here I thought was <clears throat> really interesting. And actually, let's see. I might put this in here somewhere. Um, it says, enjoy the little things in life. For one day you'll look back and realize they were the big things. And I'm even talking about, um, you know, just life itself. You know, having the ability to go for a hike with your husband when you're on vacation or you know it doesn't even have to be physical it, it, it could be something you know just like a mental illness it could be you know before anxiety set in can you remember just getting up and going out and going to the mall and you know people not bothering you in the grocery store and depression you know looking forward to going to the movies with a friend and you know smiling at the good memories and when you have those mental illnesses just like a chronic illness all of that changes and you don't you're not the same person you you don't have the same abilities whether it's physical or mental that you did prior to whatever happened so i'm going to put this right here so let me grab some this is some matte medium this is some old matte medium but I'm going to grab it. Let's throw it right here. It's good. And I'm just going to get some matte medium on the back of this. Now remember, we put down, or I put down, the woodies. So if I get this really wet, it's going to smear the color. So that's why I just did the back. And now I'm going to do the front. And just make sure it gets down. Make sure it gets wet enough. See, they've, my marker is running a little bit, which is good. All right, so let's just dry this real quick. So no, you know, just think about when you get up in the morning, if, if you don't live with a chronic illness and you don't have any type of a mental disability such as um, depression or anxiety or whatever, um, even if you have, like, if you have, that just unmelted that tape. <laughs> That's funny. Um, even if you just have something like, you know, I, I say just have, but it's, it's vicious, which is fibro. Um, think about, you know, what you were able to do then, what you can do now. And I'm not saying you can't do everything. A lot of times you just have to find a different way to do things. And we can do that. We all can do that. So, yes, there is an old me and there's a new me. The new me takes a little bit more time, um, you know, whether it's walking to the mall or which I can't do a wall mall, mall walk. Who am I kidding? Um, you know, it, it takes me more time to do things. Sometimes I have to walk a lot slower than everybody else. Um, sometimes I can't walk. My husband has been very good in um pushing me just recently we we borrowed a wheelchair so I could go to like a little festival thing for St. Patty's Day and you know he pushed me around in the wheelchair and you know what I enjoyed myself actually he did too we had a really good time um and that wheelchair made it possible for us to have that good time all right I just took a little bit more off the bottom of that and I love this so that's gonna go right there this is uh, one of those little LG photo printers, and um, I finally got smart and started buying the paper, the LG paper, it's called Zinc, um, that has the sticky on the back. Ooh, you know what? Thanks, Cindy, thanks. I'm gonna have to put some of this back on the sticky. Hold on. Let's do this. I'm gonna put me right here. Lay that down, and you know what? We're going to use our washi again. Let's see. Um, 
da, 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 da. let's find some let's find some in our washi we want to use like I said this is just the leftover washi or the the bin where I can't fit it in washi so funny because when I went into Michael's not too long ago um, they had washi on sale and I'm like oh no I can't buy any more washi and you know what I am so proud of me because I came out of there with no washi can you believe it I can't can you believe I came out with no washi made me so happy I picked up a couple other things nothing crazy but picked up a few other items mm. All right, so there's me. There's the new me. The crazy new me. Well, I'm still crazy. I was crazy before. I'm just a little crazier now. Um, let me dry this up really quick, and I'll be right back. All right, so it's pretty well dry. I'm just going to use some of this. This is a Faber-Castell pit pen, and I just want to kind of put some edging around this a little bit. And when you're playing with these um, Faber-Castell pit pens, if you catch them while they're still wet, you can actually blend them and smear them. Gives you a little bit on your finger, but that's okay. So I just wanted to put a little bit on that. You know what, I think I'm gonna do a little bit more on this too, just to make it stand out a little bit more. Because I want to hit it and make sure that I don't have anything wet, um, plop that over. And then I want to do the same thing here. I just want to put some just put some color down, kind of make them stand out a little bit. Yeah, so this week, like I said, we're doing the you know combining old with new and this is my way to combine, um, you know, the old me with the new me. Uh, am I my, the same personality, that kind of stuff? Yeah. Um, but there's still, there's a part of me um, that is missing. Um, and a part of me that's changed. And I know that. I'm not, you know, um, I'm not immune to it. I get it. I understand I've changed. Sometimes I'm a lot, I don't want to say grumpier, but unhappy. And it has to do with the pain. You can only take so much pain and it just, it gets to you. It gets to your psyche. So where's my, let's find my, I don't want gold. You know, I want to do some white with my fine liner, but I also want to do this back page. So I'm going to do this back page first. Um, as always, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to fast forward and I'm just going to play. Um, it may be combining old and new, maybe, you know what, I'll see if I can find like an old drawing or sketch or something that I've done and let's get it on here and make it new again. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy this next part and then I will be back at the end to chat and have fun. Enjoy.
All right, guys. <laughs> Guess what? I made a mistake. <laughs> but you know what? It's all good. I'm good with it. All right. I don't know if can you guys see the mistake. Anyways, this week's prompt, um, like we talked about, we talked about combining old and new. And as you guys know, I'm focusing on chronic pain. So what I did is I did my old me, which there I am. And see this, this keeps getting unstuck because whenever I um, put the heat gun to it. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do use a different, let's use some of this. I got this in the Dollar Tree the other day. Um, it's like a, a foam sticky back. So we're gonna use this. Why not? Um, so I put down, you know, I, I've got a picture of the old me. I've got a picture of the new me. Still the same person, just different on the inside. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was fun. I enjoyed putting that together. I'm going to take this. I have no fingernails. My fingernails are shot. Come on. Come off you. Come off you. All right. So, like I said, I did a little bit of journaling. Um, we have everything we need on here right now. So I'm not going to do any more drawing. So hopefully that will stay there. Okay. Um, like I said, here we go. Wherever you go, there you are, which is really cool. Then we shut up this up. And here's the new me. And can you guys see the mistake I made? Guess what? That's the back of this one because <laughs> right here's the holes that's all right I don't care it's all good so and then I this is an old oh god this was probably back in 2013 or 14 um, when I drew this and as you can see I got really frustrated and ended up um, scribbling the pink marker on it and you know that's part of the journey so I'm going to leave that scribble there. I thought for a couple minutes about, you know, gessoing over it and redoing it. But no, that's that's not what the point is. The point is, this is an old sketch. Um, I kind of made her new by, you know, putting her in this year's journal. And she's just going to be part of my journey, part of my chronic pain journey. So we're going to put this in the book. There she be. And like I said, here's my pages. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. Um, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy what, you know, I'm doing. And I hope you guys did have fun this week. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll see you next time. Bye.